Yo, yo, this is it. I'm Mr. Fade, and you're listening to Attack of the Beats on illmusic.com. So we're back. Here we are. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. Uh, it's been a, about a month, I think, or something, maybe more, since the last show. And, you know, it's, I'm sorry, man, it's not my fault. Not my fault. You, you know what happened? First off, well, I was a little busy, but then all of a sudden, I got sick. I got this wicked sore throat. And then that went into sort of a cold, and well, I still have it, a uh, bit of a cold, and then it went to like a bit of a flu, and I just had no energy, man. I was just lying there, like dying or whatever. And then uh, just as I was getting over that last week, what happens? I get the stomach flu. I was like, oh, man, it's like one thing after another. So then that was like really out of commission, couldn't do shit, so... Now I'm finally starting to recover, so now I'm back, and this is it, doing the show. So yeah. So we'll get right to it, and uh, we got five beats this week. First up, we got Flip Beats 215 with the Whoa Remix. Let's check it out. Right, right. Okay, so that was uh, Flip Beats 215 with the Wool Remix. You know, it's interesting when this uh, when when the original Wool uh, beat came out, the, the song, and that was what's his name, there, Black Rob, <clears throat> and um, when that beat came out, I mean that that song, I mean everybody loved it, right? I mean everybody was just pumping that shit and the ride, just cruising by and stuff, and and uh, you know even here in Montreal, I, I would hear that shit. Then I was down in Texas, I was hearing that shit. All at the same time, everybody just loved that shit, and um, but I didn't. <laughs> I just didn't like that beat, and it wasn't until years later that I was like, I started liking it. You know, I just it came on one day and I was like, oh, I remember that song, and I was like, man, this beat's pretty good. You know, like, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's it's. I think the reason why I didn't like it originally was because it's. Uh, it was just a basic, you know, the same sample over and over, same uh, strings over and over and stuff. You know, but. Uh, but still, it was good. I like the low end of it and stuff, you know. But but I'm talking about the original beat here. For this beat with Flip Beats, um, I like what you did with it because you had, you know, you, you kept that original sample, of course. And then I was expecting the same type of drum pattern. I like I know what you were gonna do with it, but uh, the one you came in with was nice because it was it's it was slow like a slow down drum track, you know. So I really like that. Uh, but there were a few things like the low end. So you know, you need to be careful, of course. You know, because if you listen to that original song, that low end, it was a nice, 
808 they had going and stuff and it just it was so nice and thick and it just really reverberated nicely so um for you though i would say you know just bring the kick down just a bit because when you bring in that bell that really brings it up like the the distortion and stuff so so just be careful with that part uh but the other thing was the sample itself like the the, the strings uh it's you know you just looped it over and over but i just find the i don't know where you, you got the source from but uh, like where you got that sample from like how like you got it from vinyl or a cd or whatever but um it just sounds um, hollow compared to your beat compared to your drums and all that stuff so uh so if that's the only thing if you try to match up that sample with your drums get it in the same realm you know what i mean if you really listen to that beat i mean it's like i, I like the way you put the whole thing together within this two minute frame here but uh the main thing was just like the uh the sample and your production the two are not really synced up with the in the same audio zone you know <laughs> so but uh, just check that out that's that's the only thing but uh, other than that i really like the beat that's some good shit man all right so next up we got uh yeah and if, if i'm not clear on that just send me a message i'll just clarify it for you again and stuff if you don't really understand what i'm talking about but anyway all right so next up we got uh mike hype's record with strawberry killer let's check it out All right, all right. Okay, so that was uh, Mike Hype's record, or record, <clears throat> with Strawberry Killer. You can still tell my throat's a little sore. My, my, my voice, man, it's all fucked up still, so. I got some hollows going on here, so. Hold on. <coughs> yeah, so. All right, so this beat's different. It's got a different vibe and all that stuff, and that's cool. I like the vocals, uh, you know, the way you use it and everything. Um, I like that tone bass, that synth bass you got. Um you know, you held on to it a little too much here and there, but it did sound good. I like it. It's a really good uh, bass line. But the main thing I didn't like was was the drum pattern because, to me, the drum pattern was all over the place. At the beginning, I thought you were just using it, you know, just to, you're just doing that on purpose, and then you're going to drop in some beat or something. But you kept it going like that, and it threw me off. So uh, that's the only thing I'd say you should really correct would, would be the drum pattern because I was just waiting. It's like the whole time I'm just waiting for the drums to to really kick in you know like have a, a solid pattern just continue on like a solid loop or whatever uh so but the funny thing is if you take the drums out you know just that the rest of the music it just sounds really good it was like i'm sitting here listening to it i'm just kind of lost in it right it was just it's hypnotic almost so so it's a great beat it's just it's the it's the drums you just fix that pattern man fix that pattern and uh that'll be a winner man all right so next up we've got uh santage santage with Dark Void. Let's check it out.
Right, right. Okay, so that was uh, Santage. Santage. I don't know how how to pronounce that shit, man. You have to let me know. With Dark Void. All right. So um, this is a really good beat, man. I like this shit. I mean, it's you know, right off the bat. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so right off the bat, you have uh, the like this nice progression, and that's that's what I like. I try to do that too, but but that's why I try to tell people, Liza, like, you take that. When you have, when you're making a beat, okay, you don't just loop shit over and over and stuff and then like change up your pattern or whatever. Try to do some kind of progression. Try to go from one bar to the next, like, and just keep going up in, in like each key, let's say. And then, it, you know, it just gives the whole beat a totally different vibe. It gives like a feel good vibe. If you listen to beats that do that, like yours, it's, it just really works, you know? So that's a very good way to have a nice sounding beat, man, is just to have progression you know just progression that's it so just keep working on that you know I'm, I'm not talking to you i'm talking about everybody in general here if people just keep working on that shit you know their beats will make a will just sound so much better you know make a big difference and stuff you know but as for your beat um that's what you did and it sounded really good okay so uh the, the one thing i would take away though uh the one thing i would i would, I would comment on though is is the fact that um is um your mix it's not distorted or anything like that nothing like that at all it's just that i just find your mix everything's just too high okay you're in the high range for for everything so i don't know it's hard to tell like i don't know what you're using for mixing what kind of stuff you use uh you know i know some some stuff like um like i use uh, isotope ozone and you know they have some nice presets and stuff but you know i i know some of them it's like it's either too bassy or too high or whatever so you know, so I try to balance it out over. So I don't know what you're using, but uh, the one thing I would comment on is is that you know, so is just work on the mix a bit because I find uh, there's not enough low end. You know what I mean? Like when you have the baseline part come in, it's nice, but it's like it's not heavy enough. You know, it's like it's like the whole mix is not thick enough. It's just too high. It's like uh, it just sounds like something something on the radio. Let's say for example, not that extreme, but you know what I mean, something like that. So. But uh, I'm just nitpicking, but that's my opinion. I think uh, I think the mix should just be somewhat thicker and not so high. So, but other than that, though, I like the progression you did. That was the 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 uh, the key for me with this beat. So, great job, man. All right, next up we've got uh, Scal with Vision. Let's check it out. Okay, so that was uh, Scal with Vision. Okay, so this one, you know, the synth work, I'm loving it, man. I mean, it just, it sounds so nice. The synth sounds very, very nice. I love the way uh, you put everything together. Uh, it just sounds really, really good. 
there's a few things though. For example, uh, the, the first thing that stood out for me was the kick. Okay, now the kick. I know your synth is 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 um, it's 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 a little heavy. It's a little bassy in a way. Uh, it's thick, let's say. But uh, you should maybe just you know make it not so thick, so that way you can have a thicker kick. Okay, and. And maybe even a bass line too, because I don't hear a bass line. So, I mean, not all beats need a bass line, okay? But in this case, if you do that, okay? If you make the kick thicker by taking a, you know, by not making the synth so thick, then you'd have room to open up to have, you know, a bit of a bass line there. And uh, so that's something you could consider. And the other part is <clears throat> when you go into that next part, when you cut it, you know, when the sound's cutting off and stuff, you know, like that threw me off, okay? When it just cuts off and then. It just goes like choo, 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 and into the next part. That that threw me off. So what I would have done was just you know you just stop the beat, let's say, and have that synth just trail off with like a reverb and delay or something. You know what I mean? And then go into your next part because that next part was nice. It's just that it's just the way you transitioned into it. I wasn't crazy about that. So that plus, like I said, the kick and a bass line. That's that's something I, I think you should uh, you should consider doing because I think it would make it sound so much better because the synth itself it just sounds really nice you know it's very fucking smooth so that's some good shit right there so <laughs> all right so uh, next up uh, next up what we got here uh, last beat here last beat. okay so we got uh, Stephen Diaz is it Diaz or Diaz you know just the other day, I don't know if you're uh, Hispanic or whatever but. <laughs> The other day I was watching that movie, um, uh, Blood In, Blood Out. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, you guys, man. I think it's from like 93 or something like that. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see that shit, man. That shit, was, that's just hilarious. With the Vatos Locos and everything. Oh, man, that's funny. <laughs> it's so bad, anyway. <laughs> Alright, so Steven Diaz with Half Empty, Half Full. Let's check it out. Okay, so uh, Mr. Diaz, the fuck was that, man? That was some wicked shit. I really like that beat. Half empty, half full. That's pretty good, man. I like that. It was um, what really caught my uh, my ear was the beginning. Okay, because and I, I figured you'd probably do something like that because at the beginning it just sounds kind of messy, and all of a sudden the way you bring in those drums, man, it was beautiful. The way it just came in with the sample, it was like it's just unexpected. It's not traditional where somebody just comes in with snare first or something like that you know so uh that was great right there and then i love the drum work because uh the drums sound good and then you have every few bars you you know you have that reverb on the snare so i love when people do that because you know it just changes things up you know just having the same snare or whatever you know although that that the the dry snare just sounded a little too dry but uh, but it was fine though. It's it sat well in the mix. That was good. Uh, the only complaint I would have really was is the bass. 
So the bass sound sounds great. Okay, it fits well and everything. I just think it's a little too heavy. It just sounds a little, just a little heavy. So I would bring it down just a bit. And uh, I'm like that too when I'm making beats. I mean, you know, uh, a lot of times I like to, I like to use a sub sub bass and. Uh, you know, because it just sounds so neutral on any beat you do, right? You can use this fucking sub bass. And, you know, it's hard because it's so loud, you know, so you got to filter it or just lower it or whatever. Uh, so anyway, but uh, but just try to lower it a bit. And, um, you know, yeah. But uh, the keys are great. They sound really good. Nice sample, the way you use that shit. And uh, it just fits, man. It's a dope beat. All right. Okay, so that's it. Uh, those are the five beats right there. Uh, I'm Mr. Fade. This is... Uh, Attack of the Beats, and uh, I'm going to keep doing this show as long as my voice holds up. So I uh, keep sending the beats in, and I'll make sure I keep reviewing them. So make sure you go to uh, the Beat Battles on uh, killmusic.com and uh, Attack of the Beats. Well, what am I saying, man? You're already there. You're listening to the fucking show. So <laughs> you know where you're going. You know what you're doing. If you're not sure, just send me a message. Whatever. All right, so that's it for me. And uh, my favorite beat this week, very close. Very close, my favorite this week. Drum roll, please. Steven Diaz with Half Empty, Half Full. Let's check it out. (laughs) 